perimeter and area area of a parallelogram look at a parallelogram it is a quadrilateral where the opposite sides are parallel to each other it is not necessary that the adjacent sides meet at right angles if you draw a parallelogram on a graph paper you can verify what i'm saying very easily From the top left corner of the parallelogram, draw an altitude to the base of the parallelogram. And now, cut off the triangle to the left of this line. Flip that triangle and place it on the right side of the parallelogram. Since all sides are parallel, the edges will match up perfectly. Now, as you can see, you have just rearranged the parallelogram. But, what has it become now? it's become a rectangle what's the area of the rectangle its length into breadth the length of the rectangle and the length of the parallelogram are the same what about the breadth of the rectangle that is actually the height of the parallelogram so the area of a parallelogram is equal to base into height now let's draw a diagonal to this parallelogram the diagonal divides the parallelogram into two triangles again. These are two equal triangles. So the area of each is half the area of the parallelogram. So area of the triangle is equal to half into base into height. Let's take any triangle now. Take a scalene triangle if you wish. Flip that triangle and match it up along one side. What do you get? You get a parallelogram. So, two triangles is equal to one parallelogram. What's the area of the parallelogram? Base into height. So, what's the area of the triangle? Half base into height. Isn't that brilliant? You just figured out the formula for area of a right angle triangle, area of a parallelogram, and the area of any triangle. You may be wondering, if we duplicate and flip any triangle, do we get a parallelogram? Well, what's stopping us? Let's check it for ourselves. We've tried it with a scalene triangle. Now let's take an isosceles triangle. Duplicate it and flip it. Match it up with any side. Do we get a parallelogram? Yes, we do. Can we match it up with a different side? Yes, we can. Do we get a parallelogram? Yes, we do. Try matching it up on the third side. Can we do it? Yes, we can. And do we get a parallelogram? Yes, we do. All right. So, the formula works for scalene and isosceles triangles. Now, can you check for equilateral triangles? Duplicate it and flip it. Match it up with any side. Do we get a parallelogram? Yes, we do. Since all the three sides are equal, even if we match it up with the other sides, it's going to look the same. So, we know for sure that any triangle when duplicated can be arranged to form a parallelogram. Area of triangle is equal to half into base into height. You've seen that depending on which side you align the duplicate triangle, the parallelogram formed is different. In a parallelogram, never confuse the height of the parallelogram with the sides of the parallelogram. Let's solve this. Find the area of the following parallelogram. Look at the figure first and write what information is given. In a parallelogram, base is equal to 2 cm, height is equal to 4.4 cm. Write what is to be found out. 
we have to find the area of the given parallelogram. Let us write the formula first. Area of a parallelogram is equal to base into height. Put in the values and solve. Base is 2 cm and height is 4.4 cm. That gives us the answer 8.8 .8 square centimeters. Let us now solve some word problems. Read the problem carefully. Find the height of a parallelogram whose area is 428.04 cm square and the base is 24.6 cm. What is given to us? In a parallelogram, area is equal to 428.04 square cm, base is equal to 24.6 cm. What is to be found out? The height of a parallelogram. Let us write the formula first. Area of a parallelogram is equal to base into height. Let's put in the values. 428.04 is equal to 24.6 into height. We move 24.6 to the left side and we get 428.04 divided by 24.6 is equal to height. Therefore, height is equal to 17.4. That gives us the answer. The height of a parallelogram is 17.4 cm. The area of a parallelogram is 420 square meters. If the distance between two parallel sides is 15 meters, find the length of these sides. Read and think. Draw a parallelogram. The area of the parallelogram is given. The distance between the sides is 15 meters, so the height is 15 meters. We have to find the base. This one is easy. You have to just substitute in the formula. What is the formula to find the area of a parallelogram? Area is equal to base into height. Put in the values and we get 420 is equal to base into 15. That is, 420 divided by 15 is equal to base. That gives us base is equal to 28 meters. So, the answer is the length of the side of the parallelogram is 28 meters. Now you must have understood what is the area of this parallelogram. If you like our videos, do share them and subscribe to our channel. If you want awesome quizzes, write to us. Keep watching and keep learning with Walnut.